Hey everybody, Tim here for another DC animated original movie in the animated original movie universe. It's confusing, you guys get it, doesn't matter. Justice League Dark came out 2017. I liked it, I thought it was really good. Um, it's supposed to be dark and edgy and different than their other movies. Honestly, I didn't think it was. It is rated R, the second animated R movie that they've put out, the second being The Killing Joke, or the first being The Killing Joke, this is the second. And realistically, I don't know why it's rated R. I mean, it's, they have some swearing in there, maybe? I don't even know. Is there, I didn't keep track of it, because I don't care. But I think they might say, like, ass or bitch or something. But there's no fox, like, anything like that. Um, at one point, because John Constantine's British, he says something like, you can't. But because he's British, it comes out like, you can't. And I was like, wow, they just dropped the C-bomb just like that. But, I mean, obviously it's not. It's funny. But, um... Like, there's, I don't know why it's rated R. Like, it's supposed to be dark, but it's it's not actually that dark. So, like I already said, it's kind of spoiled it. Constantine is in it. Absolutely love Constantine. This is Matt Ryan playing Constantine. I'll be honest, right off the bat, I love the, uh, the, the live action movie, the Keanu Reeves movie Constantine. It is a guilty pleasure. Absolutely love it. Thing is great. That being said, when Matt Ryan did the Constantine TV series... I was in love with that show. I thought it was so well done. I was so angry that we didn't get more of it or a second season. I know Constantine, Matt Ryan has since played Constantine in Arrow and Legends of Tomorrow. I don't watch the Arrowverse. So I did watch the one episode of the Arrow when he first appeared. I've never watched the Arrow, like the rest of it. Like I've never seen Legends of Tomorrow or anything. So he would be the main reason I would watch it. So I don't know. Maybe I should. Maybe. Who knows? We'll see. But I love how he's like so ingrained in the character that he's like, yeah, I'll do the voice. Whatever. So we see him come back. Like I said, this takes place in the animated universe. So Jon Stewart's now part of the team. Hawkman's part of the team. We see Integron. Integran? Int whatever. Fantastic. I know him from more like the Batman animated series. He makes a couple appearances. I love how he speaks in rhyme. I'm a huge Transformers fan, and he kind of reminds me of Wheelie, but absolutely loved it. We see Zantana, we see Dead Man, we see Swamp Thing. Like, there's so many characters in this, and I feel like that's why I didn't find it edgy. Like, the magic and everything is really, really interesting. I absolutely loved it. But there's so much coming at you that I was just like, it, it's just a Justice League movie with characters that we haven't really seen. It didn't need to be rated R. Like, you could literally just, boop, PG-13, not edit it at all, and it would be the exact same movie. The The thing that did kind of stand out is Jeremy Davies is in it, um, who's a great actor. I really like him. For whatever reason, for better or worse, I always think of him more as uh, from the character of Lost. I really liked him. But he's fantastic. He played Richie in a couple episodes of the Constantine series, and I remember really liking him in that. And then they just fucking ruin his character, and now he's the villain. And I was like, oh, that's just sad, because he's such a lovable guy. But overall, really liked it. Probably one of the better of the DC movies, because there's so many just new different characters. I liked it. I thought it was really good. I liked the whole magic aspect. Wonder Woman and Superman, the, the main team, hardly in it. And when they are, they're actually kind of taken over. So I love the scene where, like, Superman is just about to crush Batman, but they freeze him with magic. It was really, really well done. So for those who have seen it, what did you think about it being rated R? What did you think about Matt Ryan playing Constantine? All the characters... Go ahead, let me know. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And I will see you guys next time.